Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Supernatural, season number 14, episode number 9, The Spear. That was directed by Amin Calaretti. And here you have Sam, Jack, um, well, you have Sam, Jack, Jack is back, he's healthy again, fantastic. But you got Sam, Dean, and Castiel, they, they have come up with a plan to pretty much stop Michael. Maybe not kill him, but to trap him. And all they gotta do, they, they got, they get, so, so they, so they get to make sure this plan goes through. They split up in the, in the two groups. You got um, Sam and Jack. They go off together. They get this certain, like, certain type of egg. And, and so they, they can get this egg. They're gonna use that to pretty much like um, trap um, um, Michael. And then you got Dan and Cassiel L going off to get the spear. They won't only spear that to hurt Michael. That back their policy put up. They're they gonna use that policy to, to kill him. So one to trap, one to kill. Takes him out. Problem solved. Everything's good. Yeah, we got their plan. Everybody knows the places. Everybody knows the responsibilities. Everybody knows what they need to do. And they set out and they do it. And they have some rough starts. They have some problems. They have some situations that they don't go according to plan. But the thing is, though, they have an inside man. And in there they have Garth, who's played by G.J. Quells. He's, he's back. And he's a werewolf. And so they, they, he, pretty much in, he infiltrates the, the system to, to get information. And he gives them back to Sam and Dean to let them know what's going on. Well, things don't go out well for that either. So that everything they set up, everything they try to execute, failed in a big, bad way. And even worse, even worse out of all these things, a little bit of spoiler right here. Dean is taken over again by Michael. Because Michael found a new body. And because the thing is, though, everybody kept wondering, why did Michael leave? D Dean didn't know. He said, I don't know why he left. He just left. I said, really? That's like that? I like, guess so. I guess the spear must have scared them, so he just took off and left. Turns out, not the case at all. See, like, it seemed like he left to give him like a false sense of hope, give him a false sense of, of happiness. And then when the push came to shove, when the, when the cards stacked up against him, that's when he came back in and said, S sorry, suckers, you're lost. Took this, and he had a spear in his hand, broke the spear. Now, now what? Now what are they going to do? I don't know. Not really a lot happened, really, in this episode. Because it, it, it feels like mostly like a lot of setup for the, something for the, for, the, for, the, for the big battle that's going that's, that to come. But it was very interesting watching how these people, how, how, watching them try to execute their plan and try to do everything right and still not get in there. It's very, like, really messed up because you're, you're rooting for them. You want Michael to fail. You want Michael to lose. Because you think if he's the angel, you think he would be good. But no, he's even more messed up than everybody else. Like, dag nabbit. Wow. And then you also had the, like, the, the side story going on with Castiel and Jack. Because Jack knows the sacrifice that Castiel made to make sure he comes back. And then you got Castiel not wanting Sam and Dean to know about it because he, obviously, cause he, cause he, he doesn't want them to worry about him. And... They already did a whole lot of mess on their own now. And now that it's even worse, that Dean body got taken over again by Michael. Like, oh. So messed up. Like, it, was, it, was like, it was so close. Everything was going, well, not I'm going to say perfectly, but it was going. Look, they had a shot. Look, that things could have happened. But no. No, it didn't. Oh. And just when you thought you were free, you realized you're not. But it was nice seeing DJ Quill as as Garth back on back on back back on the scene again. Watching him back in action. And happy that Jack is back and he's healthy. He doesn't have his full powers back yet, but at least he can still contribute. But yet all the good plans, all that good setup, and yet things did not go the way it should. Uh. But we know it's going to it's going to turn around eventually. Hopefully it does. I mean, it has to. I mean, it's Sam and Dean. It's not. It's not. They're not a show without them. They're not a show without this, 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 them together again. And then, but the the thing about this episode that I actually did really like the most was I didn't see it coming. I mean, even though I knew it's it's, like, it's, it's possible, I didn't think that it, was, it actually was going to happen. I didn't. So when so actually watching Dean get taken over again by Michael. Oh, we're like, oh, man. Because even I was thought to think, they have a shot. They're going to make it. Things going to work out. And then when they got taken away from them, you, you felt what they were feeling. I was like, like, oh, crap, really? No. No. 
Oh. Overall, great episode. Would have enjoyed a whole lot. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of The Supernatural. If you haven't been watching it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. So give my channel a big old like, hit the thumbs up, share boop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and in my life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.